welcome or welcome back to Sarsobs. If you don't know me, my name is Lana and today I'm going to show you this makeover of this kitchen buffet hutch. In my last video, I did the bottom of this cabinet. So if you have a chance to watch that, just make sure you click on probably somewhere I'm going to put the links in. So you can see me doing this the bottom section. And today it's a second part of the video I'm doing the top I'm using Dixie Belle uh, chalk paint in driftwood color and uh, also all this decoration and depth in that I use the black wax as well as gilding wax and silver uh, shade to add a little bit of shine and details like parts here and parts there so enjoy the video and if you didn't have a chance to please subscribe, like, make a comment, I'm looking forward. And so as always, before painting, I'm giving a good wash with this for any furniture. And after washing and uh, rinsing off and uh, let it slightly dry, I noticed a few areas was a little rough. So I scrape it uh, with the sandpaper, just sand it slightly. I use the 220 sandpaper. And just in a few areas, I smooth it out so my paint is, has uh, less chances to bump or become uneven. And after removing the dust, we're ready to paint. Today I'm using Driftwood by Dixie Belle. After getting separate container with paint, I'm also adding some water to it. This will thin out my paint slightly and allow the application to be very smooth. I also like to spritz my brush with water too. After all of this preparation, I think we got everything what we need and we're ready for painting now. After quickly applying the first coat in any possible direction, you don't even have to worry about how smooth it is. We already diluted our paint anyway, so it's gonna be smooth. And so after the first coat was applied, I wait for about 20 minutes and I applied second coat and that was enough to cover the whole thing without seeing the previous color.
I think the most difficult part of this project, it was painting inside of this shelf. I felt I had to go up and down and bend inside and out just to be able to reach all the angles. <laughs> but the end result was worth it. If you feel your paint is drying on you or it's harder to spread, you can always spritz a little bit of water. It reactivates the paint and it's become more smooth again. After second coat was applied, I allowed this piece to dry for a couple of hours before I continue with the sealing with wax. I'm using clear wax by Bear and I'm applying this with a Beverly brush. I got this brush so I can use it with paint but honestly, I didn't like it. It was a little bit too stiff for me and bristles was coming out here and there, so I constantly had to remove it. But it was okay to use it with wax, so I think I will stick to this brush in the future to apply wax. And just like that, working in small sections, I apply wax uh, everywhere. And then I use the uh, lint-free cloth to remove excess of it. So just kind of uh, rub it in, everything in, and remove it if anything extra.
After clear wax was applied everywhere, I switched to Dixabelle black wax to add a little bit more details. Right here, I feel like I'm moving as a Speedy Gonzalez. So after applying the black wax in the small sections at the time, I go back with a, a clean, lint-free cloth, dipping back slightly in um, clear wax and wiping over excess the areas where I feel it's too much of the black. After I was finished with the black wax, I switch to silver gilding wax to add some details to some parts to give little shimmer. To apply gilding wax, I use just a small detail brush. to check the description box below i'm going to make sure i list all the product that i used on this cabinet and just like that makeover is over please subscribe and thank you for watching till next time bye